you. Well, before town meeting day, cities and towns across Vermont are weighing whether or not to rework and delay upcoming budget votes. It's because they face some steep property tax increases. Just today, Governor Phil Scott signed into law a bill that allows districts to delay their budget votes. NBC5 Stephen Biddick joins us now live from South Burlington to explain how this could impact voters. Stephen. Yes, Brian, as you just mentioned, Governor Scott did sign that bill into law within the last couple hours, but he also added this doesn't immediately fix the potential steep hikes. And all this really does is allow school boards and districts to go back and rework their budgets. The signature was expected, but school districts may not be as on board with delays as it may have seemed because they're concerned of what it could do in result of voter turnout within municipalities if they change that date from town meeting. All the districts in the state of Vermont had a part in that. A potential first solution to fixing education-based rising property taxes has now been signed by Governor Phil Scott. Some districts now debating whether to rework their budgets and delay their votes. The Lamoille Valley Supervisory Union seeing some of the biggest hikes, leading Stowe to delay their school budget vote to March 15th. Elmore Morristown put forward a budget that is around a 7% spending increase. And so it's a very modest increase uh, in comparison to what we're seeing across the state, yet we're still seeing very high property tax increases. In Chittenden County, many are pushing through and not delaying their budgets for fear of lower voter turnout. Colchester told residents to expect a 15.5% property tax increase for education, meaning a property valued at $500,000 will see a roughly $1,200 yearly increase. They tell NBC5 that number could slightly change as they adjust to the 5% cap now gone, but do not expect to delay their budget from town meeting. The Champlain Valley School District following suit, choosing to not delay their budget, which means a 19 to 26% tax increase for residents as they dial in their final numbers. In South Burlington, the school board voting to go through with their budget and not delay Wednesday night, and if approved on town meeting, residents will see a minimum 18% increase. Winooski School District was supposed to be a beneficiary of Act 127, but also felt the unintended consequences. So the more districts spend, uh, the more the more the yield goes down because the, we're basically going for the same pot of money. Our taxpayers were actually going to find gigantic increases in tax bills without really that much of spending. And then uh, people were going to wonder what's going on. So we were continually having to adapt. And once again, Governor Scott did just sign this bill into law within the past couple hours. And it's going to be interesting going forward because right now in the legislature, there is still not an immediate fix out there. So in the meantime, Governor Scott and state lawmakers are urging Vermonters, if you're upset with the potential increases or the current budgets, to either vote your budget down or go talk to your school boards and districts. Tonight, we're live in South Burlington. Stephen Biddicks, NBC5 News.